Hello fellow readers, there's time for another edition of In My Mailbox. I'm going to call this one the Eclectic Edition, because it's got a little bit of everything. But let's start off with stuff I bought from Borders. I went to my local Borders, which is closing unfortunately, and took advantage of their sale. The only thing I don't like about the sale is look what they do at the bottom here. They put a nice little black mark through the book on every book I bought. I'm the type of person who doesn't like marks on my books. And about the recipe. I actually had a couple of signed copies left of Delirium by Lauren Oliver. Let's see it right here. I don't know if you can see that, but once I saw there was a couple of signed ones left, I snapped it up. And then, because I was waiting online so long, I started looking at this one Veganist by Kathy Preston. I don't think I'm going to go vegan, but maybe partially to lose some weight. But it seemed like an interesting enough read. Plus, I saw it on Oprah, so it can't be that bad. And then we have A Blue So Dark by Holly Schmattenberg. I'm probably saying her name wrong. It's about a girl who has a parent who is schizophrenic, so that seems interesting. And this next one I've been wanting for a long time. Annabelle by Kathleen Winter. I don't particularly like this cover. There was another one, the Canadian version. It's got like a unicorn on it. I don't know if any of you have seen it. It's got a, I guess, a boy girl who is a hermaphrodite and growing up in Canada. So that one should be nice. And then another one I got because I was waiting in line so long. Uh, a Drink Before the War by Dennis Lehane. Saw him read at the Brooklyn Book Festival once, so I figured why not pick up one of his books. And then another YA title, Where the Truth Lies, by Jessica Warman. And next up is a historical fiction book, The Bonus, by Georgia Lowe. And possibly we might have a uh, blog Q&A with this when we do the review in April. It's uh, about, in the after, takes place in the aftermath, it looks like, of World War One and the Great Depression, so it's always good to learn about something. Next up, I got, in the past two weeks, I got two nice packages from Algonquin Books. They sent me three uh, books by debut novelists, including, before I even get to the books, they sent this nice packaging to them how they're promoting the new authors here. Inside, you have a description of each book and a little bit about each author. So that's kind of cool. Let's see all three of them. And then what, what they sent was When Tito Loved Clara by John Michaud. I hope I'm saying his name right, but I probably don't know. Let's see what a little description says. It says, Carla Lugo grew up in a home that would have rattled the most grounded of children. Through brains and determination, she has long since slipped the bounds of her confining Dominican neighborhood in the northern regions of Manhattan. Now she tries to live a quiet professional life with her American husband and their son. We'll see what that one's about. And then Something for Nothing by David Anthony. This is actually the second one they've sent me, so I'll probably have to give this one away. Uh, it's about a man who resorts to crime uh, to feed his family. The next one is What You See in the Dark by Manuel Munoz. This one says it takes place in the 1950s in the town where Psycho was filmed. That's actually one of my favorite flicks, so this one could be interesting. And then in a separate package, they sent me uh, West of Here by Jonathan Evanson. This looks like another historical type book because it straddles 1889 and 2006, so that's quite an uh, range there. Also for review, uh, My One and Only by Kristen Higgins, a little romance novel here, so we'll see what that, how that one goes on. Always a sucker for a happy ending. I'm assuming it has a happy ending. So that's everything I got in my mailbox. What did everyone else get?